Greetings there, fellow custodians. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Stellaris First Contact, Episode 32, United by Force. I can war in about two years. And I'm just uh, waiting to see how this... This rebellion shakes out. How's their war proceeding? Technology discovered. Yeah, I'm not sure. Who's winning? Doesn't look very obvious to me. What I could do, what I could plan on doing is going to war with the Penthulin to help the rebels gain their independence and then to subjugate them once they're independent. Because, yeah, there's only three more independents, which is Penthulin, Clan, and Nar. Coming in like, son, are you winning? Yeah, except for, like, I would make them win. Look at these fleets, man. I've got, like, a million fleet Technology strength. Discovered. You can see how stupid the, like, uh, meta fleet strength design is, though. My lord, is it dumb. It's 411. It's, these ships are built so stupidly. They're just like auto cannons with armor, right? They're built like idiots. But their fleet strength is a full like compared to third fleet, which is the um the carriers, they're like almost double what third fleet is. You know, so, sort of ignoring admirals. In fact, the uh third fleet admiral is better than the fourth fleet admiral. Dreadnought fleet's coming in pretty strong though, too, but I think that's mostly due to the dreadnought alone. I probably can go to war now, right? Still no? Still no. What about edicts? A little fleet supremacy up in there. I'll do fortify the border, finally. I've been waiting for the research, but it's, just, it's not coming. So Thubin and Yarek... Chox and Jormundir are the ones that need protection. So I'll put I'll put bastions there. Where is Gateway? There it is. All right, slave trade is banned. Question to all of you is who to go to war with? So there's Nar, Clan, and Penthalon. Doesn't really matter who. They're all gonna die. Just pick the victim. Construction complete. 
Construction complete. Give me one more minute to vote on that. Ooh, it's a three-way tie. Uh, it's kind of hard to flip a coin. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Have my juggernaut. Just got flagged for void superiority. Upgrading the Kulun to the uh, Kilgore. Kulun. upgraded. Nope, I have to throw out the whole ship design. There we go. Still not letting me? That's weird. All right, Clen, it is by a vote. Sorry, Clen. Oh. Normally, I would get in a position no for the invasion, but I don't really need no to. Peace. They're just gonna go poof so quick; it don't matter. under attack. Engaging enemy station. Technology discovered. So I'm just going to have my fleets fan out and hit everything all at once. Feels bad, but you know. If you're able, why not? Oh, Renfield. Are you just a bunch of vampires on that planet? Yeah, time to take it. Sign some, shine some sun Engaging on their planet. Enemy station. Deploying liberation forces. Colony conquered. My uh, army is such like a death stack now. Engaging enemy station. 8.2k army. That's a little absurd. Deploying liberation forces. Technology discovered. Deploying liberation forces. Well, we're doing the very fast clean sweep here. Colony conquered. Engaging I already have station. most of my forces engaging, um, engaging enemy fleet. Federation allies. And station I have so many attack. defensive packs and bulwarks and all that, that they're just invading everything all at once. There's very little left in the way of targets at this point. Deploying liberation forces. Engaging enemy fleet. Colony conquered. 
Engaging enemy station. Technology discovered. Engaging enemy station. Deploying liberation forces. Station under attack. Spaceport lost. Yeah, I just took that. All right. I think that is all but their capital. And then it's just bullying allies. Uh, I'm also in some other... What war is this? Tycan Star Pact? I don't know who that is. I'll figure it out after... Oh, here it is. Rebelled against the Gox. Uh, well... Encountered. All right. Guess I'll send an army over there. Deploy or navy. Liberation forces. How goes the crisis hunting? I still haven't had them trigger. I am waiting. In the meantime, I'm just uh, conquering everybody else as fast as I can. Spaceport lost. Station under attack. So of the um engaging enemy station of Clen engaging enemy fleet. I've got everything, right? Yeah, let me let me do To so Clen's green spaceport under fully attack. occupied fully occupied. Yeah, so Clen's fully occupied. So now it's just a matter of um whittling down allies. I think spaceport under attack. Oh, Tycan Star Pack's already gone. Spaceport. Uh, launched. looks like the independent <laughs> Sacred War of Obedience. Uh, that's a good name. The independent nation is um now that I like to tip the scales a little bit, they're winning pretty bad, pretty good, good in a bad way. Uh, so this is the last capital. It has not enough garrison, so it should be really quick. I might be. This might even be like a two for one, because uh, in engaging enemy station in subjugating Clen station under attack. I'm giving Penthulin under attack a beating, which allows the rebels of the Penthulins to quickly dispatch their territories. Uh oh, that's not good. Station under attack. Pirates at the um, pre-FTL system. Nothing like pirates messing with a pre-FTL. Station under attack. That ain't allowed. Colony conquered. Research station lost. Spaceport under attack. God, what am I even waiting for anymore? As far as I can tell, they don't even have anything. Engaging enemy station. Spaceport under attack. It's gonna have most of my fleets return to dry dock because there's not even really anything for them to do now. Senate floor, military sanctions. Okay, yeah. Spaceport Just making sure it's something attack. I wanted vetoed. Deploying liberation forces. Engaging enemy fleet. What are they even holding on to? Colony Shouldn't occupation be a hundred? I must have. I you know I must have missed something. If occupation is not a hundred, uh, there's something worth occupying that Technology I don't have yet. Discovered. Oh. 
deploying liberation forces. Wait, I have lithoids and botanicals Space in my empire now? I do. And I don't want it. Wait, what happened? What 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 did I just What world is this? Oh no! So you know that like war uh that war of the star Tyken pact or whatever? I earned all of those oh no. Those planets are now mine. I want to give them back to the Gox. I didn't want them. I wasn't fighting for those. Time to purge. Engaging no, uh, what I'll do is I'll gift the territories back to the Gox and then purge what is left that, like, immigrates to my planets. Construction complete. But in the meantime, I'm just going to downgrade that citadel. I don't care that it isn't technically mine. Well, it's technically mine, but no, I'm not going to keep it. All right. Oh, there's another uprising? The hell was with all these uprisings? It's XMSI. All right, you know what? Now I'm going to have more territories to attack. deal with. I gave the territory to the uh, the surveyor robots so they would take care of it and I wouldn't have to deal with it. And here they are, making it my problem again. You had one job, man. One job. Colony conquered. Whoa! Debris that I oh automa uh torpedo debris station. Sure, I'm intrigued. Construction complete. Spaceport under attack. So why isn't this war over? Against Klen. Is it because uh, Gox helped me, maybe? Because as far as I could tell, Klen doesn't own anything of their own territory left. I have fully occupied everything except for what Klen occupied. Conquered. Did I miss a planet here? Debris yep. analyzed. All right, I'm real confused. Oh, there we go. I I won. Technology discovered. So Nar is also under me now. So all that's left is Penthulin, Holy Polity, uh, and then this independent one, and then whoever's rebelling right now. Uh, so I can declare war on them in 10 years. So let's go deal with the rebels. You know, if I surrender, I'll just give them independence. And then, um, subjugate them. That seems faster and fine by me. I don't really care who's in charge, just as long as they don't make it my problem. <laughs> like, what difference does it make? There you go! You're still a protector underneath me. The net result is I still win. All right, so now that uh, now that that's happened, I need to give up his R. How about to you guys, you new protectorate? So transfer system, Hizar, his R, uh, Cowig. Okay, I have to do that one first. Take it. Take it. 
It's a requirement. I'm your boss. You own that planet full of plants and lithoids. God, why aren't they taking it? Did they really reject it? What the hell? Oh, yeah, there they go. Alright, um... Transfer... S the one... Kaisel. Where's Kaisel? Two... Cowig. Three... And Brune. I'm gonna give them Brune, too. Four. I'll take... I'll keep Namien, because it has Zero and whatnot. Cool. So, Border Gore is down to a minimum. That's what the borders look like now. And I just have to clean up the species that are in my empire. No, cool. Uh, none of them immigrated to my planets. So, problem solved. My fleets are almost fully dry docked and waiting. My science ships are out of position, though. And then we're just waiting on the uh, end crisis or uh, for me to Technology beat everyone discovered. into a, a pulp. Subjugate you, too. Done. So now it's one independent nation left. That is it. Not bad. I'm I'm a win one way or another. Wait, their capital is an orbital habitat? No, it wasn't. Technology discovered. The last resolution to trigger the end game crisis was this one. Proposed and emergencyed. So now I've done literally everything I can to trigger the crisis. It's not here yet, but hopefully soon. It's weird to be trying to cause crisis. Not usually in that position. Also, what's going on with my energy credits? Why are they negative? Oh, it's because of my overlord subsidy. 
I'm subsidizing about 5k as an overlord. That explains where all my energy credits went. Being overlord of the galaxy uh, has that effect. And I'm almost balancing that budget anyway. There's some edicts too that are uh, costing me energy credits. It would be the education and recycling. I'll keep those. I could also just do capacity subsidies. That will help. Yeah, I'm almost breaking even now. Oh, there we go. Definitely breaking even. Other things I could do is change my uh, mining world to generator worlds and stuff like that, but I don't think I need to do that. Punishment on Olim Baran? Who the heck is... Oh, another rebel? Uh, well, guess what? You can be your own independent nation. I don't care. Because I will subjugate you... Anyway. One way to, uh, you know, it's like, I am the, the king of the land. I don't care who I'm king of, just as long as they, uh, as they're loyal. <laughs> so if I'm going to be king of a bunch of micronations, fine, I guess. The reason it keeps happening is there's just not a lot of stability on these worlds due to the recent upheavals and rebellions. Technology discovered. But I could improve it by adding um, garrisons. Well, uh, and then the last garrison was... God, there's so many recent rebels, I don't even know... Uh, who I need to build holdings on. It's confusing. Puppy treats. Sure thing. Hey, buddy. Let's look at the agreements. Oh, wow. Psh. Completely slept on the fact that I had multiple holdings unbuilt. As you can see, I've not been great at getting my holdings up to date. I don't have holdings with you? Well, that's about to change. None with you. That's going to change too. Despite the fact that I have like basically unlimited power to create any terms that I want. I still have very, very kind and beneficial terms to all of my subjects. Because I know what it was like to be subjugated into essentially slavery. And, uh, and we've chosen not to do that. But to treat everyone with uh, relatively well. After we conquer them. Conquering them to make sure that they, uh, they never misbehave. Okay, I can't. That's on cooldown. And then we're setting up law and aid for everybody. So the Rakarians are in super, super negative. Uh, that I should work on. Although I don't really care how loyal they are. I mean, ideally I'd have them loyal, but, you know, if they're not, whatever. Whatever. 
Technology discovered. Yeah, make sure they don't hurt themselves. Exactly. Policing everyone so equally. All right, GGU, I'm uh, revising our terms. Well, you wouldn't like that, would you? Whatever. There we go. Extra dimensional experimentation has been passed. And now everything that I possibly can do, I think, law wise, has been uh, passed in order to try to uh, trigger the end game crisis. What's the war time around here? Uh, six years. Another thing I could try to do in the meantime is to try to get on positive, loyal terms with everybody. That's just like a challenge. I mean, some of them are going to be really challenging because they're like negative six. But, you know, I could I could try. Try to make everybody like me. Because I am the galactic custodian after all. So for the ones that are in the negatives, I will renegotiate the terms when I'm next able to try to bring them into a positive uh, loyalty per month. So like for Av... Here in the Secret Union, let's do it. Independent diplomacy. Uh, defensive only. United Sensors. And Protectorate? Actually, yeah, change to Protectorate entirely. Technology Forget discovered. Subsidiary. There we go. You're going to like that. That's going to be much better. Yep, there we go. Negative four to, like, plus three. You're welcome. I could probably revise the theocracy as well. Station under attack. Ooh, someone's attacking me? Another rebellion? Uh, okay. Surrender. There's actually technology here, which is interesting. I'm gonna go snag that. I thought I knew everything. And subjugate. I like their little, like, purple pink skull icon. Very, very neat. They also have the MSI portrait. <gasps> they said no? I don't think a no is allowed, friend. Wow, I, I'm surprised. It showed that they would agree to it. All right, well, I need a little bit more um, influence to be able to propose uh, another one. You know, I could also sweeten the pot, too. Here we go. Trade, transfer, resources of... What do I have a lot of? Minor artifacts. I'm literally full on minor artifacts, so you can have 2,000 of them. Come on. Construction complete. It's a gift. It's not a Trojan horse. Yeah, they're going to turn me down. They're suspicious of me. Well, uh, lucky for you, I have some of the best envoys in the land, and you're going to like me no matter what. Full-on PSYOPs campaign going on now. 
Debris analyzed. <laughs> What was the debris? No, generic. Lame. I'm surprised they hate, or not hate me, but I'm surprised they're so suspicious of me. The Queen Buada. Technology discovered. You would have thought that I'd at least be like on okay standing, given that uh, I sort of supported their uh, independence, but no, not at all. Well, until I can climb out of the suspicious. Um, I think it's just because they're xenophobic isolationists. But until I can climb out of the suspicious uh, attitude, either I have to fight them, which I won't be able to fight them for another 10 years because I granted them their independence, or I just have to wait, which is unfortunate. So two more wars to be had instead of one. I did mention that I wanted to do a reassess the others, so let's see about that. I'm trying to make the other empires a little bit happier with their agreements. Come on, you like it. Yeah. Oh, now we're neutral. There we go. This should work. That didn't take very long. Just need a little bit of influence, and uh, and then there'll be subjects. Sometimes it's faster to get you want diplomatically than uh, militarily. This being a prime example of that, it would have been ten years or like one year with diplomacy. When you're busy and don't want the crisis to start, it hits you like a freight train. When you want the crisis, the game's like, ha ha, you have to wait. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my borders just opened with Beer and Free Nation. Oh, it's a uh, rebel against the MSI. Or RSI. RSN, whatever. So many acronyms. So, yet another uh, independent nation. There's so many, like, micro-rebels. Having to bring them all into the fold is costing me a lot of influence that I am not happy about having to spend. Come on now. Technology discovered. Okay. 
There's another potential pr protectorate. And they accept. I need to start building the holdings that I've been um, gaining access to, too. Let's go through them and make sure I have my holdings. But yeah, almost everybody is loyal. Not you. I'm sure you have terrible terms. So I'll renegotiate that in a minute. Even your Rue is uh is loyal. Which is um discovered. Surprising considering they hated me so much. Clen hates my guts, but that's just because I haven't renegotiated terms. Same with a bunch of the ones at the bottom of the list. They're old terms that are not too kind or friendly. I'm like opposite Vader. I've changed the terms. Pray they do not change them any further. But in my case, it's like, oh yeah, you want an aid agency? I will happily build one for you. So here's Clen's terms that they don't like. Honestly, they're not so bad. They're griping about things that are like, not bad at all. So here we go. Here's a... Uh, New terms under clan. I'm giving kind of everyone the same blanket terms as I gain influence for them. Oh, glitch. You died at 250. I guess that's uh, how old they get. I haven't checked what the average age of max age is, but... Chief Dog, you are now my scientist. All right, so uh, the average life expectancy is 245. So once they exceed 245 there, they might expire. Oh, someone's trying to repeal my constitutional immunity. Um, it would be very funny if I vetoed Space that, but I don't even need to. It's never going to pass. Construction complete. All right, what's the war timer here? Twenty-five thirty-two. Got it. We're almost there. Construction complete. Alright, Wamos, why are you pissing and moaning about your agreements? Because you're forced in all of my conflicts. Yeah, yeah, I understand now. I don't have the, uh, the influence for that just yet. You know what's going to happen is right when I bring the last faction into the fold, there's going to be a, a bunch of splinter factions that go, Oh yeah, well, you need to bring us too. You just know it's going to happen. Hey, Chief Dog, thank you for the bits. I'm glad you like to be a leader.
this point, I no longer have to flirt with uh, whatever their name is. I can move all my uh, my envoys back. Yeah, some of the Overlord ethics compatibility is causing the uh, is causing the loyalty change to be pretty bad, or or just horrible subject opinion. But I'll win them over, hearts and minds, eventually. Why most? I bet I can win you over now, because your your agreement sucked. Eh, I'll take breaking even. What the heck? The person that proposed this isn't even voting for it? <laughs> what? Who, vo who? Clen proposed Equal Standing Act repeal, and they don't even, literally no one supports this. Okay. Sonar. Your orbital ring could include power. Done. You know, I could actually reassess the hab rings because I'm sure they're different now. Like the hab ring over Yodaris Prime should be uh, alloys and. Um, Consumer goods. Because it's changed. I'll, I'll reassess all the others. Ooh, a new faction. Of uh, xenophobic militarists. Suppress. So, Fang Face. You should be power and food. You are power and food. Nar, you should be... Technology minerals discovered. and energy. And you are going to be minerals and energy. Good. Crabs. You should be food and power, and you are not. But you are now. Kellyan. Minerals and alloys, yep. Cathanon. Food and mineral uh, alloys. No. Food and minerals. Done. Technology Adora. Alloys and minerals. Alloys and min yeah, good enough. So there, it was sort of close. Thank you for watching Stellaris First Contact, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 11th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons. Twitch subscribers and viewers like you who support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Stellaris players. <laughs>